Hi Air Signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea and this reading we are going to find out who is obsessively thinking about you right now and why. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. Today is the 30th of March 2023, time here in Milan, Italy is 9.13am. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. If you were to find a guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing, even if you're dealing with the same signs. Alright, now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. Who is obsessively thinking about them and why? Please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and the person whom you could be thinking about or dealing with. Leo energy with a strength card here. So this person could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Virgo, Capcom, Taurus, or somebody like you are, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, it can be any sign, okay? So, hmm. Oh, by the way, just want to let you know that the setting looks different because I'm in Milan right now, from Genoa to Milan, Italy. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm here for the next 12 days. Yeah, 12 days, and I'm going back to Genoa. Anyway. Let's get your reading started, okay? This is somebody I feel whom could be holding back, right? Or you could be holding back from this person. Perhaps with the moon here, there's something going on that I feel that this person may be questioning your recent behavior, okay? Uh, not a soul. This is you. Maybe you're upset with them. Maybe you've said something to them where it may have seemed as though you're kind of upset with them. If it's not about anger, not a soul, it's also can indicate impulsiveness or hurry up, hurry up, that kind of energy, a sense of urgency. And we've got the Knight of Cups. I feel like this is someone where you really... I feel like this is someone where you have expressed to them that you don't need them. As though you are, you know, this is a very independent energy, none of cups, none of pentacles here. Like, I don't need you. You may have told this person, I don't need you. Um, or you could go vice versa, right? It feels like this person is questioning with the moon here. Do you actually need them or not? There's something about some sort of, you know, the moon can get deception as well. Or illusion, uncertainties, doubts. So there's something this person could be obsessively thinking about where they could be doubting if they actually need you or if you need them or both of you. Do both of you actually need each other, right? Because you have two here, nine of cups and the nine of pentacles. This person may have feelings for you, deep emotions for you. It could be also them admiring you, Nine of Pentacles, specifically admiring you for how independent you are, how you have high standards, how gorgeous you are. Ten of Swords here is in one verse, Nine of Wands. There are two knights here. It feels like there's something about you, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Maybe you could be either very blunt, very honest, or just really intelligent or smart. That they may or may not like that <laughs> with the moon. It's like, hmm, you know how certain qualities about someone that may not be perfect, but you can't help but still drawn to this person. It's like it's not perfect, but I'm still... It's his or her imperfection that makes this person perfect, okay? So 
this person be obsessively thinking about certain things that are not perfect about you, perfect about you that they love that they are very drawn to it could be anything it could be something physical um external it could be something internal it could be your personality certain personalities or the way you look but it's just it's like yeah even though for a lot of people they may think that oh I wouldn't like somebody like that or I wouldn't like um for example like a big nose I'm just giving an example okay um like for me personally <laughs> I like big nose <laughs> I find that like you know like it's, it's got a character so I'm just giving an example right or somebody and then I have my friends who say like I don't think he's he's cute because he's got a big nose. But for me, I'm like, I think it it's special, you know. I think it's special. It adds character to the face. So something like that, okay. I'm not saying exactly that's what it is. Or I have friends who would prefer someone who looks really old, right? Like with wrinkles and stuff. Like who could look like their dad or even like their mother and. To them, that's what's appealing. I mean, that's what attractive to them. So, something about your flaw, okay, Jumai Libra and Chris. I'm not saying that's really your flaw. I'm just saying, you know, like for a lot of people, they may be like, no, he looks too old, or she looks too old, or his nose or her nose is too big, or that this person is too forward or too honest, or too crazy it can be any of these things that you know most people would be like put off by it so something that is unconventional about you that i feel this person be thinking heavily about that they actually love right the nano ones like they're very attracted to you because of these features that you have whether it's internally or externally it's like yeah that's my type i don't care what anybody says he or she is my type you know that's what I'm seeing here. And we've got the Ten of Swords here in one verse. So maybe this is someone where they could be trying to see again this energy of this energy of like everybody says you're not right for them, but but they still want you, okay? That's what I'm seeing here. This person wants you despite everything. You know, it could be arguments here, Knight uh, of Swords, some betrayal energy, Ten of Swords, and more first or ending. Some of you, you could be separated from this person. If not, if you're still together, if both of you are still together, I feel like you are like Nine of Cups. See, Nine is almost Ten. It's not perfect. So something that is not perfect about you that... They could be thinking heavily about, but that's my type. That That's what I like. <laughs> that's what I like. I don't care what anybody says. That's what I like, right? And people will be questioning with the moon here, like, why would he or she be with you? Or why would, you know, again, why would you be with them? Five of Cups here is in my first Wheel of Fortune, and then we've got the Tower here in my first. Some of you, it could be this person whom you could be upset about. You may have told them you don't need them. Because you, you're upset with them and you told them that you don't need them, the more you do that, the more they want you, okay? Will of Fortune, Candy Case, Second Chance, for some of it's that one person whom you may have been separated from. They could be obsessively thinking about maybe there could be a second chance for the both of you. Maybe they could undo the damages that they may have done to this connection to you but they could be holding back okay this is another version of the of this reading for some of you maybe there are two people yeah thinking uh, heavily about you obsessively thinking about you another version i'm seeing here is that maybe this is somebody whom you're not speaking with right now there's a holding back here going on with the strength card this is someone where i think you may have felt really good about giving this person a piece of your mind and then showing to them nine of pentacles that you can do without them feels like this person either is younger than you are or seem a little bit immature or selfish if it's not the age it's like a very selfish energy right nine of cups 
I do sense maybe this person wants a second chance. Yeah, this is the second version of the of this reading, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. This, I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Kindly subscribe to both of my channels, Chelsea Love Tarot and Chelsea Tarot 2.0. Um, Chelsea Tarot 2.0 is my newest channel, but I don't post on that channel as often but when i do it's i only post in, uh, individual sign readings which i also post the same individual sign readings on this channel but just that on this channel i do a lot of collective readings as well and i post um way more often okay than my newest channel anyway take care gemini libra and chris hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow bye